Hello everyone. Let's solve this problem very quickly. 4 to the power of x plus 2 to the power of x equals 20. Okay, so what do I do? Remember that this is the same thing as 2 to the power of 2. Then we have x out there. Then plus 2 to the power of x equals 2. Now I did this because 4 here is the same as 2 to the power of 2, right? And then remember this law that says if you have um, if you have x to the power of 2, right? And then you have, um, let's say, a outside, okay? You can always turn it around so that you have um, x to the power of a, then you have 2 outside, okay? Just like that. And that's what I'm going to apply to this now, so that I'm going to have 2 to the power of x, and then 2 will be outside, plus 2 to the power of x, and this is equal to 20. Now, I did this because I needed to have 2 to the power of x in two places, right? Now, let a letter represent 2 to the power of x. So, y will be equal to 2 to the power of x now. Here, I'll have y squared. Then, plus the whole of this will be y. Then, here, we're going to have um, everything equal to 20. Now, this is a quadratic equation, and we can, um, you know, solve this by bringing 20 to the left. So we have y squared plus y minus 20 equals 0, right? Now, what method do we use for this? Okay, let's think it. We can use um, factorization method for this, and it's going to be very fast. Because we look for two numbers to multiply to get minus 20, and the two numbers will be 5 and minus 4 okay 5 times minus 4 is minus 20 and 5 plus minus 4 will give us 1 and 1 is the coefficient of y right so in that case we are going to have the factors of this as y plus 5 and then y minus 4 which will be equal to 0 and if we continue from here then y plus 5 is either equal to 0 or y minus 4 is equal to 0. From here, y is equal to 0 minus 5 or y is equal to 0 plus 4, right? Okay, so y here is equal to negative 5. Or on this side, y is equal to positive 5. But remember that we were not looking for y initially, right? We're looking for x. And we say that um, y is equal to 2 to the power of x. Okay, so if that be the case, then um, let's continue. Since we have y to be equal to 2 to the power of x, then it means that 2 to the power of x now will be equal to minus 5, right? Okay, and then from here, how do we get the value of x? Now, you cannot raise x to any real number and get minus 5, right? In that case, from here, the value of x will be rejected. Okay, the value of x will be rejected. But from the other side, where we have y to be equal to 4, now it means that um, 2 to the power of x is now equal to 4 because y is actually equal to 2 to the power of x and it should be equal to 4. Now this means that 2 to the power of x is equal to 2 to the power of 2. And now the bases are the same. We can work with the powers, right? 
so that from here our x will be equal to 2 because if the bases are the same like this then the powers must also be equal okay now let's get back the original equation where we had um, 4 to the power of x plus 2 to the power of x equals 20. Remember, we were to find only the real solution. Now, let's get this done. If you put in your 2 here, you're going to have 4 to the power of 2 plus 2 to the power of 2. Now, 4 to the power of 2 is 16, and then 2 to the power of 2 is 4. And at the end of the day, this is giving us 20, right? So, what does it mean? It means that our x to be equal to 2 satisfies the given equation. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel for more of this.